Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Midnight Bowl Arama cards from Midnight Cards and Randy Butterfield. All right, so what are these cards? Uh, originally, this was a Kickstarter, okay? It was a Kickstarter that was successfully funded. Uh, these are uh, cards, really, that are themed around bowling and the old retros, 50s, 60s, bowlerama concept, right? So these are all embodied with a really cool retro vibe. And these two decks come in red and black, and they're both unique, exciting, and fully custom. The tuck box across the front says Midnight Bowlerama and Playing Cards, and then you see the bowling ball with a little uh, fan of bowling pins. The tuck boxes are colorful, they're exciting. The Bowlerama logo design is inspired by bowling alley signs from the 50s and 60s. Each one of these tuck cases features a premium paper stock with a UV spot ink overlay in selected areas. The tuck boxes also feature interior printing of an overhead view of a bowling lane and a fun design for any bowling night. One side of the tuck case says designed by Randy Butterfield. The other side says they're printed by the Legends Playing Card Company. The top says classic size poker finish ready for fun. And the bottom has some ad copy about Randy Butterfield and Midnight Cards. There is no tuck seal on the tuck box and that's nice. And the back design of course is the back design of the cards. The tuck flap has an LS emblem which is the symbol for Lawrence Sullivan who is the owner of Legends Playing Cards. And the inside tuck flap has the Midnight Cards logo and a quote that says you can tell a lot about a team by their name. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. Like I said, these cards are printed from the Legends Playing Card Company and they are done with their classic finish. You know, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel, how they handle. Uh, they're really the only thing I can tell you is how thick they are and then compare them with other cards that you may have held and then you would have some sort of comparison about how they might handle to you. Uh, when I measure these cards with the caliper, I use 10 cards as my uh, control and I measure those 10 cards and then the measurement comes out to 2.89. 2.89 is kind of a middle grade to thicker end of a deck of cards, uh, starting to border along what you would consider maybe a casino grade. Uh, they're the same thickness as the Architect cards, same thickness as two of the Smoke and Mirrors decks, the Eco and the Rouge. Each one of these decks, uh, between the red and the black, features a different back design. Uh, the red design is kind of like a mirrored image of the ball with a fan spread of pins at the top. And then the black deck is against a field of green, and then you see that the ball is in the center, and then the pins spread all the way around. With this deck, you're gonna get two original jokers. It's a bowler with a gesture's cap bowling a bowling ball, and you're gonna get one red one and one black one. Your ace of spades says boiling the midnight oil at the top, and then you see a fan spread of bowling pins inside of the center pip. The pips and indice cards in this deck are very unique. Uh, they are made to look like the overhead view of a bowling pin setup. So the custom pips are arranged in different score leaves and each number card has a unique team name towards the top and there's 80 different team names in all. Which brings you to the court cards. The court cards are also very fun and very unique uh, in that they further enhance the fun and the theme and the design of this deck. So each court character is dressed up in their favorite bowling attire and of course they're wearing crowns as well because they're kings and queens and they are just ready for a night of spares and strikes. All right, so that is my review of the Midnight Bolorama decks, both the red and the black from Randy Butterfield and Midnight Cards. I wanna thank Randy for allowing me to have these decks so that I could do these reviews for you. And if you would like to purchase these for yourself, you can visit his Shopify website on the web. Thanks, bye.